Well, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> this is this is. I mean, this really you really cannot do anything by downloading reports. And no. you have to have automation that's constantly refreshing the data because if you yeah. have access to accurate data is that's key, right? Yeah, super important. That's why the 60 day, this is something that for our clients, every, we always have the 60 days downloaded. Every 60 days, we download all the reports because unfortunately, after 60 days, you lose all that data. And especially for big accounts, imagine losing 60 days of data in PPC. That's a ton of keywords and <laughs> clicks and conversion that is money. You basically pay for having access to that. So as, a, as an advice, always make sure that you basically download your reports to, uh, as far as, as possible back in, in, in the past, because I mean, that's money or was you're leaving on the table because uh, all those clicks you pay, the CPC and everything, if you, let's say right now in October, if you didn't do this uh, in June, right? I don't know what you did with June in terms of your search terms and everything. That's wasted uh, uh, data. So, yeah. I mean, the the the, ch the challenge I see here is first of all, all the reports expire. When I say expire, it's no longer available to exactly. download. So mm -hmm. you you have to download them. But even downloading them, because some of the data, I agree with you on the search query performance. You have to look at it really weekly. You can look at it, but really to do it meaningful work, it has to be monthly. But some data, like business reports, it's key to download it daily. You need to look at daily uh, movements, and but it's no longer, okay, download it daily. They make it available for two years. That's fine. But that doesn't mean that you can just go in today, download the last two years, <laughs> let's say, yeah, and then you're done. No, you're not done every day. You need to be re-downloading it because they are changing the data all the time, right? Damn. It's unfortunate. I mean, there is a way around this. If you want to have a look at more than 60 days, what you can do, if you go on your PPC dashboard, you can just basically click, and this depends on how big is the account. So if this is an account, let's say, that started in January, this trick will apply because it's not crazy amount of data. You can change the window time to life, uh, lifetime in terms of the data yeah. range, and you can manually go inside each campaign and look at it. You have to do it manually. You cannot download it. Uh, I mean, you can download it within the campaign. You can export it, but you cannot download it as a report. But if you have an account that sometimes they come to us, an account that's been open since 2014, if you put lifetime, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a mess, right? So that's the only trick. If your account has been open and you're hearing this, you're a new seller, it's only been open six months to one year. You have you can do that trick for lifetime and and you know it's still relevant six months to one year still relevant but more than that I will say don't uh, unfortunately only focus on the last two months yeah 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 I mean did, look this is this is an issue and also by the way let's say let's assume that you download every day for the last two years every day for the last oh, wow, six days every day Christ. let's let's assume you do that I mean who's gonna do the updating and the storage yeah. it's this is not something you can just easily manage. So uh, what I'm getting at is you really need a solution for this. You can't just do it's this. It's a must. But yeah, yeah. by doing it uh, yourself with Excel or Google Sheets or anything like that. 